and we're just come now to the warehouse for our first event session of the week. So first up we're doing throwing, then we've got farmers and sandbag. We're on a tight time schedule so we'll see, I mean, the goal is to do so throwing, the farmers find that look dead, the arm over arm, and hopefully we can do fingers as well. So, but we'll see. Been a busy day so far, but that is what you've got to do. So we'll get it done, throwing first. Say thank you. Thank you, SPD. <laughs> the new SPD <coughs> these sleeves. Do you got new sleeves as well? Yes, I did. So these are the new uh, seven mil sleeves, new sleeves from SPD. Thank you guys very much. Really excited to try these. I think they're a little bit more rigid than the ones before, so oh a bit of weight in them. Here's a review. Oh, log press record. Incoming. <laughs> they look nice. Oh, they all smell so nice when you first get them. First event done, Sakla Bar. So in Shaw Classic they have something called the wheelbarrow. So basically what you do is you have a wheelbarrow and then you're loading implements into it and obviously it's getting heavier and heavier. We're just gonna be doing farmers carry, so we're doing five meters, getting a sandbag, throwing that five meters, walking five meters, because in the course it's about five, six meters every time you're dropping. And we we'll just go up every week. So 120 farmers to Chanel, we'll be doing four drops with that and then moving the sandbag up five meters each time then I'll go back and do that as well so yeah that'll be good So one or two runs. Just gonna do one. Like I said it last week we're doing like 20 meters more because we're running back to pick up the sandbag. Um, it's good. Nice Tom.
my fitness feels good. And uh, that was surprisingly easier than I thought, so that was good. I mean, uh, um, the fitness days are paying off, so yeah, I feel really good. What good. would you say your fitness is uh, now compared to earlier in the year? Yeah, I'm probably like, like a Royal Albert Hall was on next week, I'll be ready. I mean, well, coming second at World Shores, man, it's still an unbelievable achievement. I mean, you have to think there's so many strong men in this world that dream of getting on podiums. You know, I've, I was lucky enough to win it twice, and I think that's what makes second place like a loss when people talk to me about it because, you know, I've not won it three years in a row, but, you know, I win Wilson was, man, another three, three times at least 100%, but this prep, I've just been having fun. I said in a video before in interviews, that's when you perform good, you know, when there's no stress, not too angry and just coming in and, you know, I'm confident in what I can do. You know, I know that when I'm 100%, I'm the best in the world, and look at the way I've been, you know, pressing logs, doing Viking presses, and I want to go to Royal Albert Hall I make a big statement coming back, you know, I think as training's going, everything feels good, you know. Like Viking Press, one of my favourites, feel unbelievable for it. York and everything and before Wales I felt really unfit. Didn't feel good, but yeah, that first event I felt really good. I feel much more explosive and much more fit and much more happier and, and I think people can see I'm hungry and he looks training really good as well and I think when we're both vibing off each other, that's when we do the best so we can take this form. You know, what you do in training doesn't really matter. We can do this into a competition like we did in 2021, 22 then, you know, we'll be, we're the best in the world, so, 100%. Hi, Mark. Hi. Is that a better setup than you had last time? Yeah, much better. So, uh, How did that feel? Good, just the rope's springy, so the rope's been left out in the snow and the rain, so I think just with the heat and the cold expands and retracts, so it's just a little bit damaged. So that was good, that was a nice couple of sets. Yourself, big arms, must weigh about 200 kilos. <laughs> it was heavy. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, that was good, but so I got mixed up last week. I would say I didn't think I would make this session, but it's Friday's session, I'm down in London, so I'm just going to go down and see uh, Dr. Suresh again for my shoulder. It's been a bit sticky the last little while, so uh, I'm going to get another cortisone uh, injection, so I'm going to go down there, and then going to go and see the, the guys from the Strength Academy as well, meet up with them, have a chat. But I'm going to do a, an extra couple of events here compared to Tom, just so I'm not missing out on anything. I'm going to do yoke, Nicholson carry, just one set of that as well. And that should be me good to go, so just working that grip. See with the farmers, Nicholson's. Yeah, it's all good. Nice sunny day, so we'll get the yoke done. Yeah, good. I mean, that's all I think the next few weeks are going to be before Royal Albert Holly's technique work. Um, I'm over the first time I've done that in a long time, so as I was getting into it, I was getting better, so it's just going to keep in proving but I'm not going to go bonkers on the weights until Royal Albert. Royal Albert right now is the main focus in shot class it's straight after so Friday's sessions are going unbelievable for me that's a priority. Wednesday sessions is second priority obviously and then as soon as Royal Albert all, all's done go back to one 
event session a week and just we still last four weeks for sure so doing this stuff all really just helps the muscle mind connection get used to the weights get used to how to you know, do arm over arm and get your body conditioned for it all so yeah it's going to be good but I think this is a Luke's doing yoke because he's not going to be here on Friday but I've got one more event to do then and I'm looking forward to tomorrow I've got a big 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 log session tomorrow so um a little water record could be a bit in hitting training. That's the heaviest yoke you've done? Yeah, not a while. Just starting to feel uh, normal now, back in the yoke, so that's good. Um, yeah, it's not quite comfortable. Um, so I think Tom's going to do fingles. Um, I think I might do a run with the nickels. Just because I won't do it tomorrow. Um, and then we'll finish off in the the power steer replica. No, but that job done. Tom, what's wrong? Um, I hurt my hand. You <laughs> looked bang. That way. I've been 183 every single morning for the last nine weeks. Every time I come into the gym, I weigh myself and look at that. Take your guess first. 164. Oh, 164.7. Hey. It's ready, son. <laughs> Excited for the nickel. I wait. love the way it makes my hand feel. Feels amazing. What we got to do? It's alright. Who's going to carry the boat? Who's going to carry the boat? You think some skinny guy's gonna carry the boats? Some skinny man? Needs to be a strong man with big juicy muscles, big traps, big shoulders, big quads, big glutes. I'm gonna carry the boats. Come on. Come on, Luke. Nice. Nice. Love the way it makes my hand feel. Sure, man. Oh, can't open your hands. That's good. So, we're going to end with finger fingers and power stairs. Just loading the power stairs up to the two primal mats. Only two finger, finger fingers set. Obviously, Ryan Shaw's going to have it extremely heavy, but I just need to keep the technique. I know that while well, I won, one out of worlds, quite comfy, so I just need to keep the technique going and fingers are fingers at the end of the day. You have the best technique, you basically win, so it's, uh, yeah, just keep getting that back in my head and all good, so. Good thing as well, it's only two of them, so uh, should be all right, and then we've got power stairs to go to afterwards. Again, I like power stairs, so <laughs> all good.
was that? Yeah, good. Um, just technique on that. I felt really good. The big, the big uh, arm motion um, and two sets nice and good and then obviously power steered. We're doing the best we can on that but I feel nice and explosive but yeah, I like uh, I like finger fingers so like I said it's not about the weight. You can have the lightest finger finger, you can have the heaviest but it's about being efficient. Uh, when, each finger and efficient between the movement. So, yeah. Give us uh, one tip for fingers. Uh, explode off the ground and keep big arm, your arms straight. This one's off. This one's off. Off, on, off like that. And you'll cover more ground and keep your legs pushing forward as well. And be aggressive. If you have it in your head, you're going to drop it. Don't even bother going for it. Be as aggressive and you drop it, hit on your head. Hits on your head, you know, that's straw man at the end of the day. Let's go, Luke, come on. Second one was better than the fingers. As Tom says, it's just making sure you commit to it. Um, and you can tell when you don't commit, it's just a bit slower. So uh, that was good. Okay guys, that is our training session done. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we haven't really done an outro for this because that's going to be part of a day in the life video we've just done. So that'll be out on Thursday, I believe it is. Plus a special little, well, a big announcement. I think it's really cool. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I hope you enjoy the training. The training is ramping up rapidly. Really excited for the, the next competition, which is the Albert Hall. Uh, and then on to the Shaw Classic. So thank you so much for watching. Please, as always, smile, stay safe, stay spicy, and please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. <laughs> guys, so today I'm gonna walk you through the wall press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 